really excited because our book is finally here. Yay! You can totally still do the printouts if you'd like to each week, but look how thick it is. If you'd like a huge book of all the weeks, so you can just keep them all together. It is on Amazon. Good morning, this is teacher Katie and welcome to the Preschool Project. Today is Monday, happy Monday. It is time to talk about the days of the week. We are going to sing a little song to help us with the days of the week. Are you guys ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we say the end. Nice job. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. I love Monday. <laughs> That is good, Roxy. All right, we are on a brand new week. Last week was week nine. Do you know what this week is? Let's see here. Um, Week nine was last week. Um, um, 10, yes, number 10. So this is week 10, one and a zero. And our theme this week is helpers, H-E-L-P-E-R-S. So we've been talking about community helpers. And basically a community is a place that people live, people work, and people play. That's right, that's right. I live in the big forest community. That's my community, teacher Katie. Yes, it is, Roxy, good job. And some people live in different communities, like different places, but my community where I live is the big forest. Yes, Roxy, you live in the big forest. Good job, you remembered, high five. Thank you, I've been practicing. So anyways, Roxy's community is the big forest. So people who work there and live there and play there, that's me. <laughs> We're all part of a community, that is right. And there are people that work there too. Yeah, and people that help, like there's doctors and there's nurses and there's firefighters and there's life guards to keep us safe in the water and there's police officers to keep us safe there's a lot of people that keep us safe mm -hmm. and a lot of people that keep us healthy and oh yeah vets vets keep animals healthy yes you're right good job you remembered a lot of our community helpers we've been talking about so anyways i'm just gonna write helpers to make it nice and short the letter of the week are you ready for this so last week it was h let's think here a b c d E, F, G, H, I, I, good job. I is the letter of the week. So I did a little road down the ladder and a little road, just like that. And for little I, I go down the ladder and I make a little dot. So there's my capital, my big I, and my little I. I is a very special letter. It says its name, it says I, and it also says I. I. Eyes for ice cream! I love the letter I. And I, 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 like inchworm. Good job. Both are correct. Good job. And the number of the week. So last week we talked about the number eight. Oh yeah, there's lots of different ways to write the number eight, teacher Katie. There is a lot of ways to write the number eight. And this week, wait, let's see here. Eight, nine, it's nine, yes, it is nine. So how I write the number nine, I go down the ladder and then I make a rainbow, just like that. That's a very nice nine, thank you, Roxy. It is our song, are you excited? I love our song, Teacher Katie, I've been practicing. All right, you ready to sing it, Roxy? I'm ready. Winter, spring, summer, fall, I love them all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, I love them all. And guess what, Teacher Katie? What, Roxy? It's November. That's right, that is our month. That is our month. What season is it? Is it, is it winter? No, it's not winter. Is it spring? No, it's not spring. Is it summer? No, 
Is it fall? Yes, Teacher Katie, it's fall because the leaves are falling down. That is right. So November is still fall. It's when the leaves change color and they start falling down. That's right, Teacher Katie, and it gets a little colder. I, this morning it was a little cold. I had to wear my boots and my coat and, um, and um, extra socks and my hat and my scarf because it was really cold outside. It's not as bad inside though. Yes, that's true. It's a little cooler inside, but when you're outside, it's really cold. So you got to dress for that, huh? So today is Monday the 16th. So I'm going to write a one, just like that down the ladder. And then I'm going to write a six. So a six, you make a magic rainbow. You keep going, keep going, keep going, and make a little tiny circle, just like that. So it is the 16th. And what is the weather like? Let's go look. I'll go look. What's the weather like today, like today, like today? What's the weather like today, Roxy will say. Roxy, what did it look like out there? Well, Teacher Katie, it kind of looked cloudy and foggy out there. All right, a little cloudy and a little foggy. Yes, Teacher Katie, a little cloudy and a little foggy. All right, I'm gonna write F-O-G for fog. So we have clouds and we also have some fog today. Do you think it's going to stay the same or be different later? Roxy, what's your prediction? Hmm, let's see here. I think, um, I think it's going to get sunny later. Ooh, so you think the fog and the clouds are gonna go away? Yeah. Or there might be a few clouds, but I think it's going to get sunnier later. All right, Roxy thinks it's going to get sunnier later. I think, I think it's going to stay cloudy all day. <gasps> what? Yep, I think it is. All right, Teacher Katie, we'll see who's right. All right, that sounds, that sounds just fine, Roxy. All right, we will see who is right later today. <laughs> you guys can make predictions too and guess what your weather is going to be like later and see if you are correct or maybe if you don't get it right you can try it again tomorrow yeah if you don't get it right it's okay sometimes i get the water wrong and i get a little upset so i take my breaths right teacher katie you can you can take your breaths and teacher katie show me how you blow out candles see there's five candles see i'll blow them out and then feel a little bit better. And if I need to blow some more, she puts out a cookie. I like chocolate chip, please. All right. And then I blow really hard. <gasps> and then I feel a little more calm. Those are great calming down techniques. So sometimes if we don't get something right or it doesn't work out, we can come up ways to calm our bodies down. Yeah, and if that doesn't work, I go play some Legos and do something different. And I like Legos, so I'll go play Legos if I don't get it right. That's a good idea. So you already have an idea. If you don't get it right, yep. And sometimes if I don't win games, um, I just take a little break for myself and that's okay. That is, that's okay. You can say, good job, friend, and then go take a little break. That is always okay. It's good to have a plan. I like it, Roxy. Thank you, Teacher Katie. All right, well, we'll see you again very quickly. Welcome back, it's Letter Circle. It's Monday. Teacher Katie, Teacher Katie, it's Letter Circle. Hi, Lola. Hi, hi, Roxy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm so excited it's Letter Circle because I love this box. I love it too, I love it too. It has like a fish on it. Yeah, it does, it has like a fish on it, Teacher Katie. I like fish, they're really cool to watch. Yeah, I have I have a fish bowl at home and it has a fish in it. Oh, really? Yeah, I like my fish. What's its name? Its name is Rainbow. Ooh, that's a good fish name. I like that. <laughs> that is a cool fish name. I like that too. All right, are you guys ready to look inside the box? <gasps> you bet, Teacher Katie, let's do it. All right, let's open it up and see what is inside. Whoa. Oh my goodness, my letters are upside down. What happened? <laughs> Teacher Katie, that's our letter, that's our letter. That is our letter. Our letter of the week is I. I is a very special letter. It says I and I, right Teacher Katie? It does, it says I and it also says I, I, I. 
And so we have I, and we have I, I for ice cream, and I, 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 I for iguana. And itch, oh no, I hate when I get itchy. Me too. Mom always puts lotion if I get itchy. That's a good idea. And I is for inch. Inch, oh yeah, there's inches on the ruler. And sometimes they measure things. That is very good. Oh, I is for I, I, ice cream. I love ice cream. Me too, I love ice cream too. I is for iron. I is for ice. Ooh, I like ice in my drinks. That tastes really good and it's really nice because ice is cold. Oh yeah, last week we talked about hot and the opposite of hot teacher Katie, oh, is cold, you're right. And when you put ice in things, it makes it cold. That is true, the opposite of hot is cold and ice makes things cold. Good observation. I is for insect. Ooh, I like those guys. Yeah, they're good for the garden. Yes, insects are very good for the garden. Ooh, I is for eh, 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 igloo. And I is for Indian. So we have lots of I words. All right, so here's our I. It says I and I. Eh. We have a review, it means to look at something again. Ooh, that's H. It goes, ha, 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 ha. Good job. It does say, ha, ha. whoa, look, and they're not in order today. That's crazy. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> I think it just got a little out of order, but that's okay. What's this letter? That's A, and A says A, and A says A. Ah. It's a very special letter. It is indeed. That's B, it says B, 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 like baby, good idea. Ooh, that's C, it says K, 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 most of the time, but sometimes it says S, like circle and city. You're right, most of the time it says K, 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 like cupcakes, yes, like cupcakes. D, oh, D is for dog, da, 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 good job. E, E goes E and E says eh, 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 like elephant, good job. F, F says f, 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 like fish, good. Hey, there was a fish on that front of that box, yeah, and fox, oh, that's me, I'm a fox. F, 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 f. Good job, and G, 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 oh, it says G, 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 like grandma. I love my grandma, me too. G is for grandma. All right, so we'll put these back in the box. We'll move them over and let's get started. All right, so we are going to write the letter I. I'm gonna put a star, planet Earth, and a moon star planet earth and a moon to help with our rights and lefts and first thing we're going to do is start at the star we are going to make a little road down the ladder and then make one more little road for our lowercase i we are going to go down the ladder and then make a nice little dot just like that are you ready yes teacher katie i am ready um hey lola can i do the capital sure can i do the lowercase sure all right, I love that. You guys are really good at taking turns and teamwork and stuff. Thank you. All right, so what do we need first? We need a road. All right, whoop. <laughs> I got a road, Teacher Katie. Good job. And we need a ladder. Yes, we do. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> and we need another road. There we go. So we go road, down the ladder, and another road. And that makes a big capital I. All right, I'm ready for lowercase I. Um, you go down the ladder. Uh oh, how do I make a dot? We don't have any dots. No, we don't have any dots, Teacher Katie. Oh, we could use a dice. That'll work. <laughs> we can use a little dice for our dot. So we made a dot with our dice, which is kind of fun. Yeah, D for dot and D for dice, Teacher Katie. That is true. All right, so we just made our capital I, our big capital I, and our lowercase I. And what sound do they make? I says I and I says eh, 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 because it's a very special letter. That is true. So we're going to find an item around the house that starts with the letter I. Whoop! here I go, Teacher Katie. Oh, there goes Lola. What is she? Whoop! Lola, what are you bringing? <laughs> I'm not even sure. Oh, there she comes. What? Oh, what is this, Lola? 
So this is an inchworm. Eh, 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 eh. Because I says I like ice cream, and it also says eh, 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 like inchworm. You're right. Oh, it's very cute. I like this little inchworm. What color is it, Lola? The inchworm is green. Good job. So we have our little eh, eh, inchworm. Well, hopefully you find something cool around your house, and we'll see you back in a few minutes. Welcome back, it's Math Circle! I'm so excited! Happy Monday, everybody! We are getting ready to do our number of the week. I know what it is, Teacher Katie! What is it, Roxy? It's the number! Wait a second, what comes after eight? We did eight last week. Um, let me think about this. Um, eight, um, Nine, nine. Oh yeah, nine. Good job. Nice teamwork, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for helping me. I forgot for a minute. That's okay. Sometimes I forget things too. I like how you guys are really good friends and you help each other out. That is very kind. You guys are very kind to each other. You're like kind koalas. Yeah. Sometimes I try to be really kind, like kind koala. Did you know last year we had a friend that was kind, a kind koala? And a uh, kind koala is a little tiny um, koala and it would sit on your desk if you were really kind and being a good friend. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I liked getting kind koala on my desk. Um, sometimes I got it and sometimes Jamie Bear got it. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> it was, it was really fun. So we try to be a really good friend. Do you know ways we could be a good friend, Roxy? Yeah, when you encourage somebody or give them like a compliment or you share with them or take turns with them or you're acting very nice to them and um, uh, when you're a good listener, yeah, all those things mean you're a kind koala. You're right. Yeah, I try to use my, my listening ears and my watching eyes and my calm body when I'm at circle time. Is that good, Teacher Katie? That is. That's a really good thing when you're at circle time. And I try to use kind words to my friends and have a kind body to my friends too, Teacher Katie. Those are all really good ideas. And then, then I think kind koala is going to come to my desk. You, you're probably right. If you are being kind to your friends and having a nice safe body and safe kind words, I think kind koala might come to your desk. Ooh, I'm so excited. Maybe he'll come visit my friends too. You never, you never know. Maybe he'll come visit your friends or maybe they have other animals that are kind that live at their house. Ooh, that's so cool. I didn't know. That's true. You could have different animals that were kind. Ooh, I think I would have a kind panda. Ooh, that's a good idea. Can, maybe we could have a kind panda, Teacher Katie. Well, I don't have a kind panda. I, I just have a kind koala, but you, you never know. Maybe a friend might have a kind koala. Ooh, or a kind unicorn. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. A kind unicorn. Well, maybe our friends will get kind animals that will come visit them. Yay! If you do, let me know, okay, friends? Because I just have kind koala, but maybe you'll have a kind animal that comes and visits you when you're being kind. Remember, take turns and share and use kind body and kind words. Right, Teacher Katie? That, that is true. <laughs> Nice job, Roxy. Good memory. All right. So our number is nine. So this is so, some different ways you can show the number nine. You can write the number nine. You can show it on your hand. So you have five fingers plus four fingers. And that equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh, seven, eight, and nine. You can also show it on your dice. Six plus three, that equals nine. See, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is my tens frame. And look, I know this first row is five, right? It's all filled in. One, two, three, four, five. And this one, so we have five, and then we have one, two, three, four. So five plus four is nine, two. So we have this row all filled in. So we say five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So when we add those two numbers together, we get, you get nine, Teacher Katie. And this is how you spell nine, N 
N-I-N-E. Nine. Ooh, nine starts with N. Na, na, na. Yes, good job. Nine starts with N. So this is our number for the week. It is nine. So let us write it up here. So I am going to make my star, my planet Earth, and my moon. I am going to start right here at my moon and make a uh, down the ladder. And then I am going to make a magic rainbow, just like that. It has two steps. It's really easy and fun. That is really easy and fun, Teacher Katie. All right, I'll give it a try. All right, Roxy. There's my ladder, Teacher Katie. And there, ooh, ooh, there is my rainbow. Look, I made the number nine, Teacher Katie. Good job, Roxy. Ooh, that's a really good nine. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. That means they say something nice to you. That makes me happy inside. Aw, nice job. It is, it's really kind when you say compliments. High five. Thank you for being a kind koala, a kind friend. Another high five. Ooh, I like being a kind koala. It makes me feel good inside to be kind to my friends. I love that. All right, so we just finished up number nine. Hopefully you have fun making nine and we'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. It is our very last circle. It's fun circle. It's Monday. Oh yeah, I forgot. Magic Monday, magic Monday. Turn me into an inchworm. Uh, Roxy? Roxy? Um, uh, Magic Monday, Magic Monday, turn Roxy back into Roxy, please. Hey, thanks, Jamie. You're welcome. Uh, how are you going to turn yourself back? I have no idea. Good thing I have a good friend like you. <laughs> You're silly, Roxy. I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> that was really nice that you turned Roxy back into Roxy. It would have been hard for her to do her work. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, well, my friend uh, Jamie Bear is really kind. Like kind koala, Teacher Katie. Did you know that we had a kind koala last year that sat on desk? And um, if you were kind, if you had kind hands, safe hands and feet and a safe body, and you use kind words, safe words, then you could have the koala on your desk. And if you took turns with your friends, you could have a kind koala on your desk. <sighs> I worked really hard on being kind last year because I love that koala on my desk. Ooh, I like that koala on my desk too. We both worked really hard, Teacher Katie, so that we had the koala on our desk. Oh my goodness, you both really liked kind koala. I love that. Yeah, but some friends don't have a koala, but they can have a kind panda or a kind unicorn or a kind, any kind of animal, right, Teacher Katie? Yeah, they can. So if they want to do it at home, they can have a kind animal. Yeah. So if their, their moms and dads and grownups see them being kind, then they can sit on their desk or their bed or somewhere like that, Teacher Katie. Yeah, that's true. So I think that's a great idea, Roxy. If friends are being kind, then they can have a special stuffed animal that hangs out with them and reminds them that they were very kind. Oh, I love that. I want to give all my friends kind animals so that they can hang out with them. All right, remember friends, have a kind body kind words, and be kind to your friends, like taking turns and sharing, right, Teacher Katie? Mm-hmm, and being kind listener, so listening at circle time, right, Teacher Katie? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna work on my kindness. Me too, Teacher Katie, I want kind, I'm gonna be kind too, so I can have a koala on my desk. I love that. All right, so Roxy and Jamie are working hard on being kind so they can have the kind koala. All right, guys, our theme of the week, who remembers? Our theme of the week is helpers, Teacher Katie. H-E-L-P-E-R-S. Good job. Oop, I gotta make that a little taller. Silly. <laughs> so we've been talking about community helpers. Community is where we live, where we work, and where we play. Yeah, like I live in the big forest community, and I live in the little forest community. And um, there's lots of jobs in both communities, Teacher Katie. There's like police officers, uh-huh, and they make sure that we're safe 
and um, there's firefighters, uh-huh. And if there's a fire, you get out of your house and you call, go to your neighbors and call 911, Teacher Katie, and then the firefighters will come. That is true, good memory. And those, those are life, those are lifeguards, Teacher Katie. Um, the lifeguards keep you safe in the water. That's true. And this is a forest ranger, Teacher Katie, and forest rangers keep you safe in the forest. That's true. And that's the dentist. The dentist cleans your teeth. <laughs> nice job. And the vet takes care of animals. And the nurse and the doctor are team, Teacher Katie. They keep your body nice and healthy. So if you're sick, you go see the nurse and the doctor and they work as a team and make you feel better. Yes, they make us feel better, Teacher Katie. That is true. All right, let me move this all over. So those are a review of all the community helpers we're talking about. Today, I have a new one. Well, in some ways, we have talked about this before. <gasps> a farmer! I love farmers! Hey, we talked about farmers before. That is true, we have. But a farmer, a farmer is a community helper because they make sure we have food. Oh, that's very important. We gotta have food, Teacher Katie. That is true. So our farmer is very important because they help us have food. So um, we are going to transform our foot or our hand into a farmer. Whoa! I love that, Teacher Katie. So you can trace your hand and you can make five farmers if you want. You could trace your foot and make a farmer. Or what I'm gonna do, I'm going to trace my hand holding a bucket. Do you see how that farmer is holding a bucket? <gasps> oh, that bucket's full of eggs, Teacher Katie. We can eat, we can eat those, you know. I like scrambled eggs. I like when my mom fries them. That's a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna trace my hand. Do, 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 just like that. Do, do. Hey, it looks like a goose, teacher, Katie. It does kind of look like a goose. You are right. I'm gonna draw my fingernails <laughs> and I'm going to draw a bucket just like that farmer. I'm gonna draw it little. <laughs> And then I'm going to put some eggs in it. Teacher Katie, you should put nine because we have nine. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine eggs in there. Good job, Farmer Katie, you got nine eggs. High fivesies, high fivesies, Proxy. <laughs> well, hopefully you have fun making some eggs or whatever you wanna make for a farmer. Farmers also grow lots of fun fruits and vegetables, so if you wanna draw that. But there is lots of different things you can do with the farmer. So hopefully you have farm fun <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.